Welcome everyone to another episode of A Bright Side. Today we are here in Camborne to celebrate Trevithic Day 2022. A steam engine heritage event that is held on the last Saturday of April to celebrate Richard Trevithic's birthday. Or like as, as close to it as possible. There's music that you can hear, there are art stalls, food stalls and of course steam engines. So let's go check it out. First little stall we've happened to cross and it is a cake stall. Some really delicious treats here to enjoy on Trevivic Day. Nice. Oh, a candy cottage. Look at this. Nice. Bit of tombola if you want to uh, play that. One of those like human statues standing very still. Very cool. Check out those for £10.50. Nice pair of underpants there. Amazing! Clothing store. Rockin' Robin. Oh no, Bobbin. Rockin' Bobbin. Sewing class. It's a very cool looking building. You know, when you walk up and down these streets, you, you don't often look up, you know, to appreciate the uh, old architecture. I like that. But I don't like that. There are lots of stalls set up here in the main street. Real great vibe here in Camborne for Trevivic Day. There are literally tens of thousands of people here celebrating today. The Great British Carvery. Wow. Some great stuff here being served in a, in a bread bat. Some burgers, sausages. Nice. How about that? Oh, oh, oh fresh donuts. Oh, you two are like clawing at the donuts to try and get at them. selling gin. Now last week when we were at Port Leaven we actually had some food from the authentic Caribbean food stall here. Don't think we're gonna get anything here today. If you want to see our food festival vlog I'll leave a link in the description. Oh ho, ho, burgers! Now just look at the line for this burger stall. I'm not hopping in that just yet. How are they? Good? Oh. Is your donut today? <laughs> yeah? And AJ? Hey. Oh. Oh, very light. Mm. Wait, very light. Because like mm. uh, often like donuts can be quite dense, don't they? Yeah, can you Right, we've just arrived at Camborne Town Square. There's a little band up here playing, let's have a look. There's such a good vibe here, I love it. Again, just look at these old buildings, that's amazing. So we are at Camborne Hill. Camborne Hill? And what happened on Camborne Hill? Camborne Hill is where Richard Trevithick drove the steam engine. 
the puffing devil. Nice. Well, up or down? Up. He going went up, up Campbell Hill. Going up Campbell Hill. Nice. Yeah. That's um. I'm going down. Right, this is Camborn Hill, the famous spot where Richard Trevivick did actually drive his steam engine up. Oh, way back in 180 something? We'll check that out. And um, like here somewhere in the middle of the screen, I'll, I'll put a date. I reckon it's about 18, I don't know, 1810 or that'll be my guess. We'll see how close I am to that. So on the face of it, not the steepest of hills, but probably quite a feat back in the day when you had to drive the steam engine up it. Yeah, yeah, like a so. pioneering steam engine, I think that's amazing. It was the first of its thing. It was the very first sort of, um, oh you've gone, hang on. <laughs> this bit isn't uh, pedestrianised so we've got to be a bit more mindful of vehicles. Right, somewhere down here on a wall there is a plaque commemorating Richard Trevivick's legendary drive up this hill on a steam engine. Ah, so it's actually Tahiti Road, but otherwise known as Camborne Hill. I didn't know that. Again, some more lovely architecture. If you just look up when you're walking around some of these old towns. Now, I don't know if these old buildings would remember Trevivic. I wouldn't have thought so. They're probably not quite that old, but uh, nonetheless, impressive. Some newer homes here on Camborne Hill. They definitely wouldn't remember the steam engine chugging up toward the main street. Right, we have found the plaque. It's actually a bit awkwardly placed, like literally on the street here. But there's the little steam engine. It says, in memory of Richard Trevivick, to commemorate the site where the first locomotive engine was assembled by him and from where it was started on its highly successful run to Beacon Hill, Christmas Eve, 1801. What, what did I guess? 1810, so nine years out. All right, nice, we found it. Hey Shelley. Hello. We've got to walk up Campbell Hill now. Hi. Hey, you alright Tilly? Yeah. Going up Campbell Hill, coming down. Going up Campbell Hill, coming down. I'm a Penzance boy, I can't remember the, the lines. We actually came to Camborne for one of our Vlogmas episodes to show the Christmas lights here and also in Redruth. So if you want to see that episode, I'll leave a link in the description. So for Richard Trevivick to drive from this point at the bottom of Camborne Hill all the way to Beacon, uh, must be a couple of miles, I would have thought. Uh, Beacon's Two about a mile. Beacon's about, oh, about a mile, is it? Oh, so it's a little bit less than I thought, but a mile. Yeah. Still quite a feat, though, in a prototype steam engine, that's for sure. <laughs> little stall here for the Rewind Radio, one of our local uh, channels. Heading back out into the throng. Right, let's see if we can find these steam engines. Branching off the main street opposite Tyax, we should start to see some steam engines. Here we go, our first steam engine of the day. Look at the height of that chimney. That's quite impressive. This one's just up on uh, wheels, on like truck wheels, but um, how awesome is that? That's what that little sign says up there, presumably where it was built. Ipswich, this one came from. Oh, look at that. This has to be the titchiest steam engine I've ever seen. It's called Wallace. Look at that, look how small it is. Pulling an even smaller one. So this is the most titchiest one I've ever seen. Amazing. Look at this beauty just parked up here. The Burrell traction engine. Very cool. I half expect something like that for Corporal Jones to be driving in Dan's army. All the way from Somerset, Hercules. Check this one out. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be under there. Very cool. Well, I'm not going to count them, but there are a plethora of steam engines all the way up the street. Look at all of these. Amazing. Look at that steam there, it's just a reminder of a bygone era. Where's this one from? Leeds. Susie. Okay, that's not a steam engine, but they do real good ice cream. 
fine looking gentleman, decked out in all of his Cornish regalia. Nice. Very cool. This thing used to terrify me as a child. <laughs> Right, so I can see a replica steam engine of Richard Trevivick's actual steam engine that he drove at Camborne Hill. This is impressive. Alright, just been handed this awesome sticker, so I'm going to stick it to my chest right now. There it is here, driving away. Look at that, the actual, well not the actual one, but a replica. Brilliant. Okay, so he's reversing back. I tell you what, he goes quite fast. That's amazing. It's got no brakes. That is amazing. I'm going to move because if it ain't got any brakes, I don't want to get killed. Alright, there she is. The driver's there in all decked out in their costumes of the era. This one is definitely my favourite. Love that one. Wow. Very cool. There is something weirdly addictive about this. Later in the day, I think around about 3 o'clock, 3.15, there is a parade through the main street with all these steam engines. Can't wait to see that. Yeah. Enterprise. Not the USS Enterprise. Another engine there from Ipswich. A threshing contractor. Amazing, what a job. What do you do? I'm a thresher. Old engine there, look at that. Amazing. That blue one from Redruth is very shiny. Oh, not all of these weird things. A vintage automobile, look at that. I'd like to drive that. Amazing. And another one. Right, gonna head back down the street in search of food, because I want a burger. There is the statue to Richard Trevivick. Camborne's most famous son. Here in Union Street, looks like we've got uh, some classic cars lined up for display. It's very cool. Look at that. We've driven a few miles. Ooh, slightly newer era. Ford Capri, I think. Yeah, Jaguar. I only knew that because it said. Not an expert on cars, but uh, a classic Rover. Not too many of them left anymore. All right, very cool. Classic Thunderbird. There's a couple of American cars lined up here. That is awesome. Look at that. Nice. Oh, on the back end of an Oldsmobile. All the way from Texas. Very cool. I think Oldsmobile are a defunct manufacturer now, which is a shame, but uh, 1964 Oldsmobile. Nice. Right, we really are going to go and get some food now. I keep saying that, but this time it's going to happen. This is where it's happening. Got some cheeseburgers on the way. Oh, yeah. Nice burger. Always got to get a burger on Trevivic Day. You know I love my pasties, and this is a Cornish celebration, but I do like a burger. Show me your dancing. AJ, you're busting some moves there. Chips too. So let's hear it for Chilorin. 
Turn his arm, he never died. Let's hear it for Jimmy Big with his engine steaming by. Let's hear it for the farmers and for the fishermen. Let's hear it for the miners. Mine again. Okay, children. Children at the front. Turn around and face the audience and then you can show around to her, okay? Now when we cross the table into this promised land, there is one thing to remember, one thing to understand. That corn was not a county, just sighted in the west. That Cornwall is a country! And it's Yay. the land we love the best. So let's hear it for Jalori. May his army never die. Let's hear it for Trevor Gay with his engine steaming by. Let's hear it for the farmers and for the fishermen. Let's hear it for the miners who hope to find again. busy fun fair here as well with tons of stuff to do if you've got a penny or two to uh, you know do some things more burgers up there really really busy at Trevivic day today Shelley and I were just talking that because of Covid we haven't had a Trevivic day for about three years so probably everybody has piled into Camborne today because there are literally thousands of people here the parade with my own eyes.
Cornishman. Nice. We're going to leave the video there. What a super fun day. I do love Trevivic Day. We tried to make it a tradition to come here. There hasn't been a Trevivic Day for about three years, I think, so it's lovely to see it back. Do give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to The Bryce Side. It really does help the channel grow. Hit the notification bell and you'll never miss out on any video that we put up. We are on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Bryce Side. So check us out there. So from us to you, cheers and gone. It's just letting off some steam.